Assuring the quality of your applications via test-driven design, good code coverage, and issue detection is critically important to your customers and your reputation, but it can also be a time-consuming endeavor. GitLab Duo Workflow, which consists of our agentic AI capabilities, can help you quickly complete development tasks. In this video, you will see how Duo Workflow adds unit tests to your application. This is a product inventory application written in Java. If we expand the source directory of it, we'll see all the Java classes that make up this application, specifically the product.java class for which we'll be asking GitLab Duo Workflow to create unit tests. Here we see its variables like name, brand, made in, pr and price. So let's head over to GitLab Duo Workflow and enter a prompt there requesting that it creates unit tests for this specific Java class and store the unit test in product test.java. So let's click on start. And on the right side, you'll see how GitLab Duo Workflow is analyzing the entire project, understanding the context, seeing what's there, what's not there, and what things to uh, do next. In the middle, we will eventually see a plan of action. So it's going through the project and it's uh, found a product.java file and now uh, it's going through and it's going to see the product test.java file does not exist. Then it's, uh, you know, giving us information as to how it's performing the analysis on the right side. And in the center of the screen, you actually see every step of the plan of action that it that will be doing. Some of the things that we see there is that it's going to create a new uh, source test directory in which it will store the unit tests as well as the creation of product test.java. Once it's analyzed everything and created a, a plan of action, we review everything, make sure that it makes sense to us and these are steps that will achieve the goal that we're asking GitLab Duo Workflow to do for us. And if everything is okay, we click on approve plan. This will basically start the um, execution of the plan of action, as you can see by the state running in the center right there. And as every step is completed, you see a green check mark appear on the left side of each step. Also notice that as these steps are executed, by GitLab Duo Workflow, you can see changes in the project on the left side. For example, there's a brand new file there, which is going to be product as Java. And now you see the number one uh, next to the, uh, the Git icon here on the left vertical menu of Visual Studio Code. The next step in the plan is to add tests for the default constructor, the verification of the object creation and the initial state of the properties of the product class. GitLab Duo Workflow is executing now the uh, implement uh, get, getter and setter tests in the newly created file, product test.java, and lastly is adding the JPA annotations to it. So once it finishes executing every step of the plan, it should say completed. There is complete now. So let's go and verify what it's done to the project. So we see that there's a brand new test Java directory uh, path there with a new uh, file called product test.java and it is actually the unit test for product dot java and we can see all the setters and the getters and how it's using junit as the uh, framework to run these unit tests we see a problem though in the file and this is because we did not request gitlab dual workflow in our initial prompt to include the this library in the uh, pom.xml file of the project so it's complaining about the the existence of these uh, references so let's ask GitLab Duo Workflow to fix this for us. So let's start a new workflow and let's tell it, you know, that we're getting an error message for this file called product test.java. 
And this is a an error message that we copy and paste it from the output. And we're going to ask it to fix it. So we're going to click on start again. And just like before, uh, the right side is basically a listing of all the analysis that GitLab Dual Workflow is doing in order to come up with a plan of action that will be listed in the center of the screen. So on the right side, you see that it's read the uh, product test Java file. Now it's reading the palm.xml file. And it's giving us an explanation as to why we're seeing the error. And it seems to be that the wrong version of JUnit is being included in the palm file. So it generates the plan of action in the center. And as we read the plan of action, it's going to basically edit pom.xml and replace or fix that portion uh, of the dependency to include the right version of JUnit. We uh, click the uh, execute plan or approve plan. And GitLab Dual Workflow starts executing each of the uh, steps in the plan. GitLab Dual Workflow starts by reading the current pom.xml. It then edits it and removes the outdated JUnit dependency and follows that with the addition of the correct dependency and version for JUnit. Lastly, it reads the product test.java file to clear all the dependency errors. Notice that on the left side now you see that the files have become green, meaning that there is no longer an error in them. And by checking uh, the right side of the screen, we see you know, all the steps that took place in the analysis and uh, in the middle, we're seeing all the uh, steps of the plan that got executed successfully. And the error message is now gone from the product test.java file. Checking the pom.xml, we see that the dependency for JUnit is now correct. Through the execution of this plan, GitLab Dual Workflow is effectively making updates to the project to achieve what was requested in our prompt saving us time and effort and increasing our productivity so that we can spend more time innovating and creating value to our organization.